My name is Tina Wisson and this is a quick tutorial to help decide how to best cut a polymer clay cane and make it into a slice so that it's paper thin and won't distort. I know it can be quite difficult for people who are first starting out but these tissue blades are very thin or very easy to help you along the way. See how thin they can be? very important that they're that thin so that when you go to apply it to the pen tube you don't add any more width than you really wanted to and it won't distort. So let's give it a shot. I said before tissue blades are the best way to be able to do that. Sometimes they also come with a handle on them makes it a little bit easier to manage as you go to cut. There's also available X-Acto knives, but X-Acto knives are much thicker and a lot more difficult to get a precise cut, especially along the cane. So I don't recommend using those. There's also available cane slicing jigs to help you along the way. You can adjust it as needed so that you put the cane inside the width, put it to the dimension that you want, and then lock it in. Now this is a little bit more time consuming than it would be if you would just cut it, but for those looking for a precise measurement, they're able to adjust it as needed. So that's a good option for you if you want. There's also other guillotine type cutting jigs to be able to help you. I'm not going to be very picky. This is one I've just had for a long time. Tissue blade and our little cane. I'm going to set the little cane square to me on its side using both hands on each end of the blade. I'm going to gently slice downward gives me a slice. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to gently press around the edges so that it's even. I'm going to rotate the cane just a bit and I'm going to repeat the process until I have several other slices. Gently pressing so that I know how my cane is going to look when it's fully flat. And now we're going to start applying it to our tube. It's a Zen tube that I've already covered with a black background. I also have the bushings from the Zen pen kit next to the tube already so that I have a pretty good idea on how much space I have left and it lets me know how far I can go before I get too large of a tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and make it easier to use but keep them handy and close by. I'm going to take the slice that I've already made and I'm going to gently apply it to the tube. Now it works best if you again repeat the process of pressing all the edges down on the tube and then some in the middle until it's fully secured into the background clay. There we go. You can repeat the process other places on the tube. I'm going to turn it a little bit and I'm going to apply another rose same process, pressing around the edges until it's firmly secured to the background. And there we go. And then you just continue. You fill in all the way around the tube until you're at the point where you like the design that you created. Have fun. Happy claims.